A racist seen here at Liberty High School dropped the N-word at a student in the bleachers. Today's racist of the day, in my opinion, is this woman here who decided to call a black teenager and his friend a bunch of N-words. This took place at Liberty High School. Here is their phone number. I am expecting a response immediately because I want to identify the parent and I want to make sure that everyone at that school knows what happened. Because it's like I always say, the devil works hard, but we work harder. So let's get some answers for the student and for everyone else there. Notable TikTokers proceeded to call her out and also made a call to action. Renee Simmerauer here, digital news anchor in Las Vegas. I saw this on TikTok and decided to contact the school myself. And this is how they responded. Pause to read. Thank you to Renee for uploading the message reads as follows to parents slash guardians of liberty high school clark county school district's top priority is the safety and well-being of students as a school system we will continue to focus on equity and access for all students the district will not tolerate racially insensitive behaviors that contradict an inclusive community and impact our students' school culture in an effort to keep you informed of important matters happening at our school i would like to inform you that our school administration became aware of a video on social media that shows an adult displaying racially insensitive behaviors while attending an after-school activity on our campus. These actions are inappropriate for any school setting. Upon learning about the incident, the school administration quickly handled the situation and the individual was trespassed from our campus. Liberty High is dedicated to inclusion as the foundation of all individuals is emotional, social, and academic growth and support. As the second part of the email reads, we will not tolerate behaviors that contradict an inclusive community and jeopardize the rights of our students. If your student is ever in a situation like this, and then they leave the number. That is from the principal of Liberty High, Derek Bello. More folks weighed in. The rumor was that she was indeed banned from attending sporting events. However, it just seems like it's not enough for what she did. Now, of course, they would not give us the woman's name to find out who she is, only that they handled the situation based on what they could do on school campus. The rumor was that she was indeed banned from attending sporting events. However, it just seems like it's not enough for what she did. Great. She might be banned from the next girl's soccer game, but that's that's not good enough. You see, because blatant racism has no place in 2022. That, my friend, is hate speech. And then people like her that are so bold to get in the face of someone of color and say that word with a hard R on the end, they then commit hate crimes. TikTok works harder and faster than any investigative service out there. Somebody knows who this is. 